Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from radical equations. Here we are going to solve for the real values of x. If equation is x equal to fifth root of x minus 1 whole power 5 plus 781. So let's get started with our substitution straight away. I will consider x minus 1 equal to y. So let us consider x minus 1 equal to y. So from here I can write x minus y equal to 1. Let us call this is our equation number 1. Now from this substitution, let's check what will happen to the original equation. x will be equal to fifth root of y power 5 plus 781. Raise both sides power 5. So x power 5 will be equal to y power 5 plus 781. Or we can write our second equation. x power 5 minus y power 5 equal to 781. This is our equation number 2. So we have to solve this new system of equations x minus y equal to 1, x power 5 minus y power 5 equal to 781. So I will be writing here x minus y equal to 1. And second equation is x power 5 minus y power 5 equal to 781. Now I will consider cubing and squaring of this equation. So let me write here is squaring and let us write here cubing. So I will be writing x minus y whole square equal to 1 square. And here we will be writing x minus y whole cube equal to 1 cube. So I can apply it algebraic identity x square plus y square minus 2xy. So let us assume xy equal to t. So I can write here minus 2t equal to 1. So x square plus y square equal to 1 plus 2t. Now cube both sides. So I can write x cube minus y cube minus 3xy. So 3t in bracket x minus y. So it is 1. Right hand side 1 cube. So 1. So I can write x cube minus y cube. This will be equal to 1 plus 3t. Let us multiply both the equations. Let me write here equation 3. And this equation we can consider equation 4. Let's multiply 3 with 4. So I can write here x square plus y square times x cube minus y cube right hand side would be 1 plus 2t times 1 minus 1 plus 3t okay let's multiply so x square times x cube y square times minus y cube so i can write easily x power 5 minus y power 5. Now cross product. I will write x square times minus y cube and x cube times y square. So I will take x square y square common. So in bracket it would be x minus y left. Right hand side this product will give us 60 square plus 3t plus 2t. So plus 5t plus 1. Now xy was t, so this will be t square and x minus y was 1 and x power 5 minus y power 5 was our equation number 2, 781. Let's write all the values. 781 plus t square equal to 60 square plus 5t plus 1. Take all the terms to RHS. 
सो फाइव टी स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव टी वन माइनस सेवन एट वन माइनस सेवन एटी इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज वन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड डिविजिबल बाई फाइव लेट्स डिवाइड बाई फाइव टी स्क्वायर प्लस टी माइनस वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी विल कंसिडर दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड आई विल अप्लाई क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला सो आई विल बी राइटिंग टी स्क्वायर प्लस टी माइनस वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स equal to zero let's apply formula t will be equal to minus b so minus of plus 1 so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square it is 1 square 1 minus 4 ac so 4 times 156 it is plus 624 over 2a so 2 so minus 1 plus minus square root 625 divided by 2 so minus 1 plus minus 25 divided by 2 with plus sign in between i will write 24 over 2 so 12 with minus sign 26 over 2 so minus 13 And t was our substitution. It was x times y. Now our first equation was x minus y equal to one. So I can frame two system of equations. Let me write here. X minus y equal to one with x y twelve. And x minus y equal to one with x y negative thirteen. Now from second equation, I can write the value of y. It will be equal to twelve over x, which I will apply here in the first one. So I can write our equation as x minus twelve over x. Equal to one. Multiply both sides by x. So x square minus twelve equal to x. X square minus x minus twelve equal to zero. Let us apply quadratic formula once again. Minus b. So minus of minus one plus one plus minus under the root b square minus four ac. Divided by two a, so this will give us one plus minus square root forty nine, so seven. So with plus sign eight over two four, with minus sign minus six over two, so minus three. There are two values of x four and negative three. Now come to second system of equation. So from here I can write y equal to Negative thirteen over x, which we will apply here. So I can write x minus y, so plus thirteen over x, equal to one, or x square minus x plus thirteen, equal to zero. Let us check discriminant only. So discriminant equal to b square minus four ac. So b square will be minus one square one minus four ac minus fifty two. So as you can see, discriminant is coming out negative. It will generate complex solutions. So we can reject. Rejected. So our final answer will be four and negative three. Let us cross verify. So I will write check x equal to four. Then we will check x equal to negative three. From RHS we can begin with 
and we have to match with x. So I'll be writing fifth root of x minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 power 5. 3 power 5 is 2, 4, 3. Plus 7, 8, 1. This value will be equal to 1, 0, 2, 4. So I can write 4 power 5. Fifth root and power 5 will be over. So it will be equal to 4, which is equal to x, which is our LHS. Hence verify. Now come to x is equal to negative 3. Fifth root of RHS. Minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 power 5. So minus 1 0 2 4 plus 781. Fifth root of minus 2 4 3. Fifth root of it is minus 3 whole power 5. Now fifth root and power 5 we can cancel. So it is coming out finally minus 3 which is equal to x, which is equal to our LHS. Hence, this is also verified. And this brings the end of the video, friends. Let me write answer here once. x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 3. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.